Hey there, amazing viewer. Welcome back to Code Crafting with Arslan, the ultimate destination for all the things coding, programming, and tech related. I am your host, Arslan Arshad. On this channel, you will find in the depth coding tutorials, programming tips and tricks, exciting projects, walkthrough, and so much more. But wait, before we dive into today's topic, do me a quick favor. If you have not already smashed that subscribe below button, by subscribing you will never miss out on the latest coding insight and you will become a part of our awareness coding community let's come to our today topic so today our topic is how to reset your website there is a uh, two ways you can reset your wordpress website manually or with a plugin both methods will reset in your po reset in your post pages setting plugins and theme files being deleted that they, this cannot be undone before starting our resetting you must taking a backup of your website resetting setting will completely erase all your customization settings that's why uh, before you begin the, this process resetting of wordpress you must create a backup of your wordpress manually or using a wordpress plugin makeup plugin we have already creating our videos on a backup and migrations so you can see here and this will give you the option to restoring your site after resetting it's just in a case you change your mind or in something goes on so let's start it reset you with first we go reset with the plugins using the plugin in the easiest and fastest way to reset your website there is a a uh, dozen of choose from the but WP reset is the most popular and reputed plugin that is uh, enable you reset your website is a few clicks there is a how to uh, use the free version so go to our plugin add new plugin type WP reset So here is a plugin install and activate WP reset plugin once the install is completed now activate our plugin once the activated go to our reset plugin so open a WP reset tools uh, skip for now so the we here's our reset tool go to tools scroll down to site section So here's uh, all the sections. Go to site section, delete content. Yes, uh, reset a theme option, D delete our transit, uh, purge cache, delete local data, delete content, delete which are these are uh, uh, pro plugin option, delete theme, the plugins. So here's the main option, reset theme options reset user all this is a paid per the cache delete local data so delete the all the local data so delete the theme delete all the themes delete the plugins clean the upload folders clean up the content folder empty or delete custom tables if the, if the some tables are uh, empty if you are creating a some custom tables so it's delete all the your from your database uh, delete that stxs files so here's a lot of options reset scroll down option set and this is a, a site reset so is option to reset the site reactivate wp wp reset plugins and reactivate current theme if you must check if you want reactivate all currently plugin you want to activate so if you want to so check it if you don't want so just simply press type the reset or spell mistake and do the reset before press the button you must take a backup or create a snapshot for or this plugin 
so I'm just pressing the reset reset website it's about give me a notification to reset your website press the reset when the reset has been completed you will be redirected to your uh, WordPress dashboard homepage where you will the access the message setting for yes everything is reset you're not quite done yet by default WP reset deactivate all the themes plugins files inside of the deleting item theme however you can use this plugins delete these files as you oh well just follow the simply steps go back to tools WP reset click on tab tools if you want to delete your themes reset WP options you just press this reset theme options oh sorry delete local data uh, this is the delete theme if you want to delete your themes press the delete all and press the delete all themes so it's delete your all themes so same same like you if you wa want to delete plugins same like this click on a click on delete plugins so press the delete plugins your all the plugins has been deleted so your website will now be completed reset you will have install a new theme install plugins create a new post page and configure setting currently i'm not deleting the themes because we have deleting in our another method this is a manual reset options so here's i'm just leaving here if you want to delete everything deleted but you can see here everything is a reset if i'm go to front end side you can see the or default themes activated and everything is now reset our wordpress website but the plugins is remain here if you want to delete your plugins if you want to delete the themes you just uh, go to tools wp reset go to tools and delete your local data delete themes delete plugins so then the next the uh, another way reset wordpress website without a plugin if you would prefer not to use a plugin then you can manually reset your wordpress the website this process is more difficult and take longer but it will help you understanding the fundamental of wordpress installation to manu to manually reset a wordpress website you will need to delete your database create a new one delete your plugin themes and file other files so ret uh, return back to your wordpress installation script and let's break down the below process so now the process is go to our wordpress directory where is, uh, all the themes install so here's our plugins all the plugins install we just delete the plug all the plugins select the scroll down and all the delete are you can delete from here you just delete the press the delete our all the plugins deleted it's taking some time for deleting our plugins because we have a lot of plugins what's the delete then press the themes if you want to delete the themes uh, create a new folder name is plugins and then you can go to your themes if you want to you can delete here and you can delete from outside so i'm using outside delete the theme folder i also create a new folder name is themes so both are deleted and now go to our website so now need to go to our database and because i am on localhost using xam so localhost php madman if you are on a c panel or something else you can follow uh, that steps so come here to here just ignore so here is a wordpress website uh, i must take the backup before you deleting so once you check the your wordpress with which database is connected go to wp config file open with visual code you can see here the database name wordpress website so go back to our database 
WordPress website. First, I, I just export the database for the save purpose and uh, backup purpose. Simply export and download and save it. And now just select all and drop the your all the tables. So it's a quick and way method. You just reload. Yes, and the installation is back. Continue site title blog username i'm set a default so confirm weak password so here's a high install wordpress website we have a, a very long video on in detail view our wordpress installation you can see also in our playlist channel now login so go to you can see here so is no themes is installed you just add a new theme just install this one as a default 2023 theme you can see in the oh, stay on here you can see here there's no plugins there's no page available so this is the default page of our WordPress comes so there's no post and nothing anything else so now is completely reset our website that's it your website will be completed research you can now build a new website with a different theme plugins and content with a different setting So everything is set up. Activate thing. So already activated. So everything is reset, and now you can build a your own website. Before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you have found it a helpful. And if you have not already hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out our coding adventures. Thank you for being the part of code crafting community. Keep coding, keep learning, and remember and the tech world to yours conquer. Until the next, I'm Arslan Narshad signing off. Thank you very much.